Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies are down in the description box with links to most of them, so check that out. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of new videos coming up, hit that notification bell. Now, I'm going, I've already got my paint mixed up here, and my recipe for this is 50-50-50. Um, so, let me explain this. So, I do let's say in this cup here um 40 flow trawl then 50 percent of that or half of that is uh 20 of paint and then 10 of water so most of the time that's the mixture i go with and it's it's fine sometimes you have to add a little bit more water but these are now this particular is apple barrel paint um i had some red on hand and since it's coasters uh yeah it works fine. So the apple barrel, but now if this was anything like a latex um, or a better tubed paint or a thicker paint, you would have to add more water. So let's go ahead and just get these covered. I apologize if you can hear a TV. And this is how I epoxy it too. So if you're epoxying your coasters and you wonder how to apply it, <laughs> just put me a blob and take my glove and work it to the edge and done. So. We can tilt it a little bit to get it to move. Check all the corners. You can tilt it a little bit, help it kind of self-level. Work out any odd spots. Normally I have these farther apart but I've got these smaller silicone mats. My hope is that the drippings from these coasters will make cute magnets, magnets and I can put them together as a set and sell magnets and coasters together. And that way it's out of the same paint, the pour, instead of two different occasions. Like anybody's gonna be real sentimental, but you never know. <laughs> I think it'd be neat to have magnets out of the same exact paint. All right. Now, last one. All right. Okay, let me go wash these off. Okay, let me get this done. Let me set this. Okay, here's my goal. White and yellow. I want to see what it does. So I'm going to stick white here, here, okay, 
I usually cover this back up and then fold it out, uh, blow it out. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe just blow it from here and see what this does. I know it'll be a little brighter and bold, I guess. So I'm going to do that. Now, here's my problem. I need these a little bit apart, but I've got enough on both sides. I want to use my airbrush, but I kind of want to use my blow dryer too, but I don't want to blow it out so hard that, you know, I'm going to use my airbrush. And I really, <laughs> okay, I'm blowing it back a little bit anyway. Just a little. Now, the thing with this airbrush, it's on 30. I'm going to turn it down. Okay, it's more like a 20. Um, I'm very undecided. I think it's not bad. Let's see what this does. The worst thing we do is we redo it. Okay, I turned it down way too much now. Okay, I turned it down to five, not 20. Jeez, okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that much better. Okay, let's see what we can do. Maybe we don't have to redo it. Maybe we can just re... Okay, yeah, I'm good with this. I'm going to get this white down over this corner. Well, I just made it worse. Go hit these other ones. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm happy with this. That's the danger. You've hit I've hit another one, but Yeah, I like that. I love playing and doing new things that, one, I don't even have an idea about, but yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. See if there's any thickness. If there's a real thick blob, you want to kind of get that off so it won't fall back into this. And I'm wondering if that is a little bit. I'm going to take some of that off. Okay, so I think those are the really the only spots I had question about, and I'm working them off. So that works. Wow, the colors are great. Um, not sure that I have put down enough 
paint to make magnets. So I will keep trying. The worst thing I do is make some puddles of acrylic and do these colors and make them a set. I don't have to make them a set at all. It was just an idea to utilize, utilize all my equipment and not equipment, but my supplies, you know. So I, the, all the drippies, I do like to make magnets out of because I'm not wasting. I'm very happy with this. Wow, this is neat. All right. Thanks for watching and y'all go have fun.